Hi everybody, this is a quick video tutorial to give you some tips on how to use a multimeter to check a pickup for faults if your setup doesn't seem to be working correctly. So this process is fairly universal between all different types of pickups. We've used a four conductor humbucker because it has the most number of wires to check and it's one of the most common candidates for mix-ups with wiring and that kind of thing so definitely one of the types of pickups that we get asked the most about checking. So firstly, let's take a look at our multimeter and identify the settings which we'll need in order to get the right readings. Really, all you need is a multimeter which will read resistance, which virtually all multimeters will do. The resistance setting on my meter is identified by this Omega character. And that's a very much a standard way to mark it on the meter. You'll need to be measuring within the correct range for the pickup which you're measuring which in the majority of cases will be the 20 kilo ohm setting on your meter. Uh, although some meters, such as this one, will automatically adjust to the correct range and you might just be able to see auto range there on the screen. There's one or two exceptions um, with higher output pickups, such as the War Pig, the Sinner, and the Pig 90. Because their resistance is more than 20 kilo ohms, you'll have to knock it up to the next setting, which is often 200 kilo ohms. So with four conductor humbuckers, you'll see that the green and white wires come soldered together. Uh, this is how we ship them as standard. Um, we do ship them with a piece of heat shrink insulation covering over this connection. So in order to measure them in this case, you'd have to remove that heat shrink tubing if it's still there. So the first thing which we'll check is the resistance of the entire pickup as a whole. To do this, we connect our probes between the red and black wires. Now when taking resistance measurements, it doesn't matter which way around you connect the probes. Um, there's no direction that you need to connect them because the resistance is exactly the same in a forwards or backwards direction. So if we touch one probe to the black wire and one probe to the red wire, get a reading of 15.5 kilo ohms. Uh, this is a painkiller bridge and it's a little bit cool this morning. So that's perfectly within tolerance. Just as a note, when we're looking for issues with a pickup, we're not looking for measurements which are a couple of percent off of spec. Um, if there's a problem, then we would expect the reading to be way off. So if you don't get a good reading from the black and red wires, we can then make some further investigations to find out which coil has the problem. To do this, we can first measure between the black wire and the green and white pair. What this is actually doing is measuring between the black and white wires, which measures the south coil. So here we're getting good measurement for the south coil. Then you can do exactly the same measurement for the green and white pair and the red, and this will measure the north coil. Again, we're getting good readings here. So the kind of readings which we would be looking for if there is a problem with the pickup would be either a short circuit, which would be a similar reading to if you touch the probes together. You'd expect that to be somewhere in the region of single digits of ohms. Alternatively, if there's a break in the coil or there's a loose connection, you may get either a similar message to what we have on the screen here, OL, which signifies an overload, simply meaning that the measurement has gone beyond the measurable range of the meter, or you may get just a very high resistance reading similar to if you measure yourself. So here we're getting our four mega ohms. So if we have good measurements from all of the colored wires, but you're still not getting perfect performance out of your pickup, one of the next things to check is the grounding of the pickup and to make sure that both coils are isolated from ground. To do this, there's a couple of different ways that you can achieve that depending on what kind of meter you have. Using the basic resistance setting, if you set your meter to a very low setting, you're going to want to set it to the lowest setting that you have available on your meter. Take a measurement between the bare wire and then each of the coloured wires in turn. Ideally what you'll find is a very, very high resistance, so you'll either get this overload message or a very high mega ohms reading. If at any point while checking this you measure a low resistance, then that signifies that part of your coil is short circuiting to ground. Some meters such as this one have an alternative way of measuring this, and we have a dedicated continuity setting on this meter, which gives a little beep when you make a circuit between the two probes. So you follow exactly the same process on this setting and you're just looking for there to be no beep or buzz depending on your meter. And we'll see if you measure between the bare wire and the base plate of the pickup, we get a beep because the bare wire is connected directly to that base plate in order to give the pickup its ground connection. So as I mentioned, this is fairly universal for all types of pickups. 
With humbuckers and P90s that have the vintage braided hookup wiring, you simply measure the resistance between the outer braided jacket of the wire and the inner wire. With strats, tellies and bass pickups, you measure between the two cloth wires. And with P90s that have two conductor plus screen hookup, the process is almost identical to four conductor wiring, just with fewer wires. The process of four conductor humbuckers is also universal to all manufacturers of this type of pickup, although the colour coding may vary, so you might have to consult a chart to check which wires relate to the north and south coils. All bare knuckle pickups have a lifetime warranty for the original purchaser, so of course if you ever have any problems with the bare knuckle pickup that you've purchased from us or one of our authorised dealers, then drop us a line and we will be more than happy to help you.